Hey gang, welcome back to Stud Pack. In our previous video, y'all saw Jordan and I build this super strong subfloor for our new bathroom with one and an eighth inch plywood. And I am standing in our shower. We recessed that, so we'll have a curbless entry. Can't wait to see how that turns out. In today's video, we're gonna build the walls. And I say we start right back here and work our way out. We're going nine foot ceilings. We'll have a single bottom plate, double top plate. So that means our studs are 104 and 5 eighths inches long. Let's grab our tools and get going. Calculate it. All right, the nine foot wall is up and once we got it inside, it's pretty grand. Wouldn't you say, Jordan? It's huge. It's gonna be perfect in this bathroom. Now, once we stood it up, I realized we're not gonna have room for a water heater up there that's gonna be too tall. But I knew that, so we're gonna go tankless over here. A Couple years ago, we ran that gas line, that's a one inch gas line, for the kitchen right here. And we stubbed it out knowing we're gonna have a water heater for this new bathroom, and there it is. We can easily put a tankless water heater on that back wall, bit it outside, and have hot water forever in this bathroom. Now, I've never installed a tankless water heater. I'm really excited about it because we can practice here on my buddy's place, like I always say, right? And then I know we're gonna have a couple at your house in Texas, the stud pack house, right? Right. And speaking of the stud pack house, Jordan's about to come unglued right now behind the camera because he just got an email from the architect with preliminary drawings on the stud pack house. We can't wait to show them to you and the architects didn't change one thing on our design. So that tells us we did a pretty good job. Wouldn't you say, bud? It is. High five. It is such a cool design. It I is. mean, I've never seen a house like it. it. I love it. So before we build the two side walls, let's talk about how we frame this wall because I did it 12 inches on center, not the standard 16. Why did I do that? Well, check it out. This wall is gonna attach right there. So we automatically have our corner for our backer board or our drywall on the other side. And we haven't decided if we're gonna use three by five pieces of backer board, four by eight, whatever. But since these are a foot apart, I can lay down a five footer and it'll land here. I can stand up a four by eight and it's gonna land here. Or I can lay down a four by eight and it's gonna land here. So we're covered no matter which way we go. And before we go outside and build these shower walls, let's talk about them real quick. They're gonna end right here, go straight up and cover this window, it gets deleted because this is a wet wall. And we're gonna leave a bay in the middle for all our plumbing. I think it's starting to come down, but maybe we can get these walls built. Let's head outside and build some walls. Oh, my tools. All right, cool, our shower walls are built. We got our nine and a half foot back wall and our four foot side walls. And as you can see, we left room in the middle right here for our shower system, our plumbing system. Super modern system, can't wait to show you, it's gonna be fantastic. 
We're gonna have one over here and one on that side. And on this back wall, we're gonna have a super custom accent. I've never seen anything like it. I certainly have never built anything like it. And it's gonna be a real challenge for Jordan and I to pull that off. But before we can do all that, we gotta finish these walls. And I say we start right here. Hey bud, for that remaining framing, I figure we need 32 by fours. And just by looking, I can tell we're gonna be short. Yeah, we only have 20. We got 20. I bought 50 thinking that would be plenty. It's always like twice as many as you think, right? Right. So why don't I run to the lumber yard by myself? You stay here and build that wall. Look, man, when we get to Texas, you gotta be able to frame these walls as fast as me. I can't have you slowing me down. I thought it was gonna be the opposite. What are you talking about? No, dude, we're gonna be a team out there cranking these walls out. All right, let's do this. All right. Working, I could tell. Look what I got. The gals over there love me, man. What'd they, they give you? They give me plate lunches at the lumber yard. What? When's the last time that happened? I didn't even ask what it was. I knew it was gonna be good from there. Let's see what it is. Look at that. Wings, potato salad, little cookie. Wow. Nice. That fortune cookie says you will be dripping sweat. Or very shortly. Yeah. Let's see what you did. That looks right. great. Battle getting it in here. By yourself? Yeah. 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 It it's fell. as thick as that one, yeah. It fell a couple times. All right. I also was debating on these two studs right here, yep. putting them over there. I didn't really know where to put them, but I know that we're putting our light switch over here. Right. I didn't want you to have to be wiring in between there and somehow forcing a box. And the way it's going, we might have 20 switches here, right? With right. all the LEDs you want in this bathroom. Right. And accent lighting right. and all that. So that's a good call. Yeah, and then I figured the pipe right here could just go straight up and um, that would be easy to glue there. So not right. a big deal. Right. And uh, this sticks out, but that's fine. We knew that. There's going to be a pony wall here, so that pipe's going to be buried in the pony wall. Right. Cool. All right, you want to eat or you want to build that other wall? Uh, let's grub and then build. Cool. You know what I just realized? And I'm going gonna, gonna to take the fall for this one. This is too short. I made the measurement for a 2x6 wall here, but we got a 2x4 wall here, 2x6 over there because of that vent. So I'll tell you what. Why don't we just take this wall and spin it around over here? It'll work fine, because this is a two by six. What do you think? 
And of course, now this stud is in the way of that pipe, so we got to move it. I'm just going to cut the nails, piece of cake. All right, cool. Let's drill this hole for our drain, this hole for our water line. We'll put this back a little off center. We'll be good to go. All right, let's build that second wall, but two inches longer this time. Alright guys, we're gaining on it. We got our two side walls built and our last wall is this front one right here where our doorway is going to be. Now remember we got this three inch vent drain right here. So this part of the wall is going to be six inch and then over here where our door is, it's only going to be a two by four wall because we don't want a special order of door for a two by six opening, a six inch wide wall in other words. So we're going to make it out of one piece of two by six and on this end we're going to rip it down to, to three and a half just like a two by four would. We'll measure and cut our top and bottom plates, mark them out as usual. From my hand over this way, two by six construction. From my hand over this way, two by four construction. Let's measure it and get our cut list and get this wall done. That's a heavy looking wall. Yeah, we already got it drilled and notched. Got our doorway in. She's ready. She's ready. Let's clear a path and get it in there. Are you saying put one corner on the stage? Okay. We can, we can get it in there. Yeah. There's enough play. Right. Let's put that corner towards you in. Okay. And then I'll beat that side in. Pick it up right over this. Yep, that's no big deal. Yeah, you're coming up. All right, now I'm just gonna swing, and then when I get to the conduit in the pipe, we'll both lift. All right. Oh, okay. nice. Okay. There you go. Good job. I guess it was loose. Too light. Okay. All right, I'm clear. It's easy to lift that way. Okay, you ready? Three. Two. Okay, I'm good. I'm like, I'm like in the middle, so I got like all the weight. I need oh. you over here. Okay, then go over there. I'm, I got it. We're good. I got to turn around so I can't see. Okay. Should I pull this screw out? Yep. Push all the way back to me. Just pull all the way back, and I'll be good. And then once it seats on this pipe and in this crevice, I'll come here and lift up over this, and we'll be good. Okay. Nice. And I'm hitting this. Okay. We go here, set it there. We both get here, lift it up and over. We're home. Let's do it. <laughs> That's a big lift. I'm going to grab it from right here. Okay. And then I'm just going to drop it. Okay. I can grab it from here. Yep. Three, two, one. Not, yep. Okay. Uh, beat your side in. Let me see what I'm not. The whole thing. No, just the screw. Oh, the screw's the screw's sticking way up. Okay, you ready? Yep. Three, two. Oh, can you beat it with the sledge? Nice. How far do you need to go? I'm fully confident in this. The only thing I'm concerned about is when it slides down, getting splinters in my hands, but I'm not even gonna hold it. Oh. 
You just gotta chop that top plate off. Right. Go for it. It's just gonna drop. Once That's right. The box. That's right. Here we go. Okay. Let's go. I'm there. There she goes. Woo. That, was, that was nice and graceful. It was at the end. <laughs> nice. A controlled fall, not a boom. Falling with style. Yes, sir. And it's friction fit, not going anywhere. So. Right. There we go. This wall was kind of a pain, but I'm standing in the door of our new bathroom. Now, after fighting it, you know, maybe we should have built the two by six wall and the two by four wall, but we got it in there and it's super strong and it looks great. Now we haven't plumbed anything yet. What we're going to do, for instance, we're going to come over here to this corner. We'll get this wall perfectly plumb. Then we can just fasten them together right here at the corner. And the same for the other three corners in the bathroom. Now, when you walk in the door right here, it's going to be a right-hand door swinging this way. And there's going to be a wall behind that door, kind of acting as like a little... Uh, privacy screen. Privacy screen for the toilet and the urinal. So I say we get a quick, easy W and build this little wall right here. All right, wall number seven is built. Now, check this out. We have a three foot door, but we made this wall 28 inches. That way when the door opens, the doorknob's gonna go by the wall a little bit instead of hitting the wall. That will allow this door to open just a little bit more because we felt like it was getting a little crowded right here. So you come in the bathroom, close the door, and that's a little privacy wall, right? If you're over here at the urinal. And that works great for us. So two walls left, and they are the walls that separate the vanities from the shower. There'll be a vanity here, wall, shower, vanity, wall, shower, and you walk between the vanities to get into the shower. You got a shower on this side, shower on that side, come back out of the shower. Now these walls are doing a lot. Let me walk you through it. Originally, we were gonna put the wall right there and bury this plumbing in the pony wall. But as we're walking around the space, and this happens all the time at remodels, I'm sure you guys have all experienced this, we decided to push this into the shower where Jordan's standing is a little cramped, but the shower is very spacious. So we figured we're gonna come into the shower three and a half inches. That'll make it a little smaller, but it's gonna make a big impact out there in the bathroom. Plus the glass for the shower is gonna be sitting way back here. Come check it out on this drawing I made. Side angle, here's the plywood sill I just showed you. We're gonna cut some two by eights into this shape from here to here, 34 inches. We're gonna have a little two by four top plate. We're gonna notch it and we're gonna have a two by four top plate here. We're gonna put about a 2%, two degree bevel on it. And that's gonna put us ahead of the game when it comes to waterproofing and putting a shelf on there because this is the shower side. So any water that sits there is not gonna sit there. It's gonna roll right off. Now I don't have enough two by eights for my sill plates. That's why we cut one out of the plywood so it's gonna be fine. And because we changed the design, that's why I ran short on two by eights. I'm not going back to the lumber yard for trip number three today. No telling what the gals behind the counter are gonna give me this time. They'll give you dessert. They will, I'm ready for dessert. So these are already cut. Let's cut three of these, attach them to the sill, cut those, and we're ready to go, man. Yeah, let's do it and then show them. Got it. You know what I mean? Perfect. All right, so All right. why don't you do like a cool transition? What do you wanna do? Pick a transition. We can swoop, clap, jump, Dive, dodge. Swoop. You want to swoop? Swoop. All right. <laughs> cool, man. There is wall number eight. Only one left. And you can see how great a representation that drawing that I made that I spent hours on is of my actual wall, wall right here. It's the same thing, right? Pretend this is our stone for our counters. Of course, all this is going to be waterproofed. Our vanity top is going to sit right on top of here. And of course, being supported by the vanity, glass right here for the shower. And we got this awesome shelf right here. You can see we put a two degree bevel on that. So when we waterproof it, our slope is built in. And we have everything a guy needs here in a shop to take a shower. Orange flavored Gojo, we found some even with a little nail uh, cleaner right there. What is this? Lemon Ajax, perfect for a shower for a guy. And some uh, Scrubby Bubbles Bathroom Grime Fighter. Yeah, Perfect for after you're working on that big right. old V8, right? You can clean your urinal and yourself at the same time. But you know what, guys? We got one more wall, nine of nine. It's exactly the same thing as this one. Rinse and repeat right here. Let's do it.
face. All right, wall number eight and wall number nine, all done. Wall framing is 100% complete. And you can kind of get a sense of the space now, right? Vanities here, beautiful entry into this wonderful shower, and a toilet and a urinal over there. We're gonna wrap it up right there, gang. Jordan and I are so excited all the walls are done. We got a ton of work done in this video. We appreciate all the support you've been giving to the channel lately, so we're gonna make it easy on you today. Just frame that like button, smash it for us, ask a question, drop a comment, and please subscribe. It means the world to Jordan and I, and we will see you on our next Stud Pack video.